hello guys welcome to this video this is online to help her in this another video section we're going to be talking about how you can set up zimbra webmail server and send unlimited emails quickly let's talk about zimbra smtp what is zimbra web Hell. and quickly on uh, our google when we make a search for the function of zimbra webmail so it says zimbra is a dedicated server that manages all of the inbox all of the mailbox content including messaging contact calendars and attachments so messages are received from simbra mta server and then passed through any filter that has been created simply it means simbra is a dedicated server which you can host using your os um, system i mean using ubuntu or using um centos and at this point you can send bulk email using simbra because it's a dedicated server it's just like gmail account which you can send receive mail and at the same time you can um, have a contact you can save you can have the calendar part of it so now using a simbra now means you having your own private mail web mail you having your own dedicated server webmail just like gmail or yahoo mail so it's your own which you can be renewed after the setup every monthly basis depending on the vpns you are using okay guys so let me tell you the requirements which are needed to build your own server. number one thing you have to take note is that you need a minimum of 8 gig of ram and recommendedly you can use 60 gig and your your CPU have to have four core, or you should use four V CPU. Okay, and your storage space should be minimum of ten gigs. So to get your VPS, you can get it either on Contabo or you should get it on OVH. I'm going to be using um, Ubuntu version twenty point zero four. Now let's get started with this video. Okay, right here I've logged in my vps server so if i click on open terminal here if you open a terminal console you can see if i type host name so this this is what we're going to have okay now the first thing we have to do is to set our time we have to set our time to um this so to this asia and here when you enter you're going to have this so now we're going to set our um host name i'm going to be using this domain for my configuration here so i'm going to set my host name right there so doing this set this now i can log in to my host name by writing this uh sudo minus uh i command then i've logged in to my uh host name now the next thing now is that we need to set our dns record inside the server okay inside our server which means uh, we're going to set dns record in our domain and at the same time we're going to set it on our dns server and to do that we're going to be running this command which i'm going to be changing and at the same time i can uh, open my folder i can open my folder file and i put it inside the folder to make it more easier so on the et etc i'm going to go for the um the comfy okay so I'll go to the host and do the um, edition. Don't forget, this is a demo video. If you need the full video or now you can set up your own um, Zimbra server, you can just check the description below this video to get the full tutorial course. Okay, I'm going to the host and from this host right here, I can do my editing from this part. Okay, and once that is done so i can close this close this okay then i can update and upgrade my server using this command if this is your first time of watching our video kindly do well by hitting the subscribe button to stay updated on tools like this and don't forget to like this video and share this video to your friends okay now we are updating and we are upgrading our server so it can be updated for all packages to use on simbra okay so this is done now it's been updated and it's been upgraded so the next thing we have to do is to install our d dns um d 
ZSNS platform, which which we which, which we're going to be using in serving the MX record and the A record here. Yeah, so I'm going to run this install. Okay, then I'm going to install the DNS here. Yeah. I'm going to the server and stop the server. Okay, good. It stopped. So from here, running this command line, and I'm going to be open another command to put in my record which is the default name server so using this and the default name server will be this and enter so i go so i can save this enter good so at this point i'm going to be putting my dns record here so paste it here and i'm going to save it okay see this now <clears throat> excuse me you can see this is our answer section and you can see this is our mail server this is a record and it's pointing to our, the additional section this is our, um the answer section and this is our mx record pointing to our domain okay good from those parts we move to the next thing and the next thing now is for us to install our simbra and to do that we have to be inside this and it starts downloading our zimbra application okay the download is done okay and it saves right to this folder so i'm going to run this to the command line and uh, it asks do you want to do you agree with the terms of the software so you press y and enter now do you want to inst install this use zimbra package uh, repository so you press y then enter okay now it's configuring it. <clears throat> okay. Now to install Simbra, select the packages is Y. So let's install the packages. Do you want to install the logjar fashion of it? Say yes. Yeah. And enter. Okay. Now it's a create domain. So I'm going to enter my domain. Just copy this. This is your domain. Right. Copy from here. Okay. This is domain. Then paste this and enter this okay so yeah you can see we have a lot of options here and before we proceed we need to set admin password for here inside the um zimbra store so here is the admin password it is on four so we're going to be typing four inside here okay enter then four and enter this and enter and it's saving and configuring and modifying all our set. So it will take some time, but you just have to wait for it to be done. It's starting our server, so we have to still wait for this to be completed. Okay. Now this is done. And uh, do you want to be notified of um, Zimbra? Do you want Zimbra to notify you of your installation? This is optional, so I will just go for O and enter okay check in so all this is done so i can enter h t p and this and this enter then we have this okay i'm just going to advance and proceed to this page and you can see we've we'll logged in here yeah, you can see this uh, this is simbra console and uh, so we're going to be logging in using admin and the password which you created then you can sign in to your zimbra console so as you can see it's now running clearly you can see it's running so we can also log into the um the, the the front end which is the web mail so i can copy this and open a new page then https this and this and paste it and enter okay so let's log in as admin yeah then the password is going to be the one which i've said sign in so you can switch to the standard if you don't want this and this is our webmail server okay so from here we can create multiple accounts and to do that you can see this is the add accounts part you can see manage accounts if you click on manage accounts we only have one account here okay so let me go back and let's say add accounts. Let's say add account. Okay. Then name. Let's say we are adding. Um, we already have for admin. Oh, okay. Let's say we are adding for um, info. 
okay let's say info the first name it can be whatever you want to put in you can use michael james okay let's say display name should be auto then you go to the next or before let's go to the previous scroll down is there any other thing to do here okay note there's a so let's set a password I'm going to be using the same password all through okay okay is this password is this password mm -hmm. And go to the next next year okay if you want to add any of this I'm just going to leave it empty go to the next okay let me leave this also go to the next okay I'm not sure I need anything here again just click on finish okay now account has been added the account information have been added let's log in at the same time we can log in with our domain don't forget um, this is our domain we can always log in with our domain here yeah. this so if I open this and I put uh, HTTPS this this and this is my domain I can easily log in with this you can see it takes me to the web mail directly okay now I can log in using the info that I just created and uh, the password which which I choose then sign in and you can see we've already logged in too it's logged in inside the info part of it okay and this is the name we created Michael James okay from here let's try to send email out and uh, new message you can see the calendar parts we we're talking about initially in the video this is the chat line you can chat with your colleagues here yeah. now new message now let's send a new message then to we're going to be sending to this uh, info so it's going to be info at this our domain okay the subject let's say we send hello and our attachment will be hello how are you and we're going to send this out by eating send button send now says message sent we can confirm by going to this place and you can see this is the message inbox okay enter and everything is updated all the rules are updated now so this is how you can set up your own sim uh, web mail server and send unlimited mail thanks for watching this in video and i'm going to see you in the next one